<laughs> I'm good. How are you? Yeah, not bad, not bad. So uh, thanks for your time, man. Really appreciate it. Well, thanks for having me, man. Thank you for your time. Uh, obviously, thanks. busy times in the Skid Row camp. A lot of things happening. Uh, happening. Uh, the new album, and obviously you joining the band. So uh, how is everyone feeling about um, how, everything at the moment? I think everybody is uh, is actually very happy about the situation right now. Yeah. There is a good chemistry in the band, and we're having a good time on and off stage. And, and uh, it feels like I've been here longer than I have. Uh, and I know the guys, someone said that it feels like I've been there forever. Mm. Um, and it's, you know, it's, we, we are a good team, uh, including the whole crew, uh, not just the band, but also the, the sound engineer, the tour manager, you know, it's just a bunch of guys having a good time. Oh, awesome. Uh, before we get into the new album, obviously, we've got to talk a little bit about how you sort of joined Skid Row. Uh, take us back to sort of where that whole thing started and how did you sort of uh, join the band? <laughs> yeah, so um, Rachel contacted me on Instagram uh, in February. And he asked me if I, and we, we have never we had never met or, or talked to each other at the time. Uh, so that was the first time he actually contacted me and reached out. And we, he asked me if I could get on a Zoom call. And uh, we talked. He, he asked me in that Zoom call if I was available to fill in for a couple of shows for the, the former singer, CP. Uh, and I told him, you know what, I have to ask my doctors because last year I had some health issues um, and uh, I was diagnosed with leukemia. So I was just recovering from a bone marrow transplantation. And that was like five months after my transplantation. So I had no hair. I've lost all my strength, physicality, uh, and I was just trying to recover. Uh, so I asked my doctors, they said, well, you could start uh, touring in March because that would give my immune system time to recover. Sure. Um, and uh, I told him, and then he, a couple of days later, he sent me a new song called the gang's all here. And he asked me to record my vocals. Just try, um, give it your best. See, see what you can do with this song. Um, and I recorded it in this room actually. Okay. Uh, so and then I sent it back to him a couple of days after that. I was on a call with him and Snake, and they pretty much asked me. They asked me right away in that call if I wanted to join the band. So that's that's the short version of it, but it, mm -hmm. it happened really fast. So I'm not sure how, how longer the long version would be, yeah. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, and I, like Skid Row for me personally goes back to when I was a little kid and I've been a fan for such a long time. Uh, I don't know how you feel about a band like this sort of, sort of joining the ranks. I mean, were you a fan of them before you joined or? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I started listening to Skid Row in high school. So I, I had a, a buddy of mine. I started a band with him and he introduced me to a lot of great bands and Skid Row was one of the bands. Yeah. Uh, so we rehearsed uh, some of the Skid Row songs when we, yeah, when we were playing with that band. Uh, and I also, I was, when I was trying to make it in the music industry, I was working as a karaoke host and I did a lot of Skid Row songs, uh, on the karaoke nights. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, yeah, it's, it's definitely one of those bands that i i I grew up listening to. Yeah. Uh, it's, a, and obviously a lot of great songs are in the past and obviously a new album coming out. Uh, I had a, a chance to preview it and, uh, man. It, it does sort of take me back to a lot of the, the older stuff as well. I mean, you did such a great job, you know, taking on that, which, which I'd imagine this must be a difficult position because there's been so many sort of like, you know, great front men that sort of, uh, you know, done that job. How did you sort of approach it with this, uh, this new album? Well, first of all, thank you very much. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy you liked the album. And, and that was my first reaction when I got the songs, when I joined the band. So pretty much one week after they asked me if I wanted to join the band, I got a bunch of songs just rehearse these songs and record them. And mm. I recorded it here. Uh, and my first reaction was uh, that it sounds like the Skid Row that I fell in love with. Yeah. Uh, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I could hear my vocals um, and I knew exactly what I wanted to do before I even started recording. Um, and I liked that old school approach. So what I normally do when I, when I record is that I have a lot of different singers uh, that I'm inspired by. Uh, and like take hell or high water for instance so i was listening to that song and i thought to myself how would brian johnson 
sang this song, okay. uh, ACDC. So, yeah, yeah. so I took that approach. And, and you know, it's, it's kind of like all these singers, all the, my inspirations, my influences are all tools in my tool belt. So, hey, this is the Sebastian Bach tool. OK, let's try that one on this song or Ian yeah. Gillen. OK, let's. And then somehow, you know, it's, it's me singing it. So it, somehow I've, I managed to find the balance so it doesn't sound like I'm copying someone else entirely. Uh, but, I'm, you know, it's just that that's the way my mind works. I, I, I get a lot of inspiration from different singers and then I, I add my own touch to it. And that's what comes out. <laughs> okay uh, and uh, i mean obviously it, it sounded great and the, the end result is fantastic i mean you, i think you kind of really sort of uh kicked it out of the park so to speak it's uh it's a great album uh i am curious though like did the other guys in the band sort of give you some uh advice suggestions anything like that at all or oh yeah yeah so we recorded this album without ever meeting each other uh oh, wow. and we were just sending files to each other but going back and forth and and Rachel and I was communicating a lot on WhatsApp and he goes, mm. okay, so instead of doing, huh, 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 can you go, huh, 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 huh? <laughs> <laughs> that was the way we recorded the song or uh, the album. And then Nick, the producer, he's such a cool producer and he's very pedantic. So, uh, and sometimes you just do a vocal take and you feel, uh, well, it's good enough. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect all the time, but not if you ask Nick. Cause he called me back and I thought I was going to get away with it. Uh, and he called me back and you know, that line where you go mm-hmm, do that again, <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck. you hear everything. Yeah. So it, that was how we recorded this album just without, without being in the same room, just sending the files to each other and giving each other feedback. And yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy, but also a, a cool experience. Was that uh, that sort of procedure of recording, um, was that because of the COVID thing or was that just because of another sort of scheduling issue? Or, uh, Well, I guess it was a matter of time in many ways. I, I joined the band and uh, they had the deadline for the album to be delivered. Mm. So I had to get started right away. Um, and I was able to record it here in my studio. Uh, but it was also, um, also my, my recovery getting back from the, the cancer treatments, uh, because I couldn't travel, uh, there's a pandemic and when you do a transplantation, your immune system, uh, yeah, you, it takes some time to recover. Sure. Uh, so it, it was partly, partly health, uh, matters, health, health related matters. Uh, but also the the timing, uh, the deadline of the album. Okay. Uh, and how how's your health now? Like, is everything a okay at the moment? Or yeah, I got back the test results from the twelve month examination. I mean, twelve months after the the transplantation, and I have one hundred percent healthy cells in my body. So. That's good news. Oh, good to hear. Good to hear. Obviously, that's yeah. a difficult thing to have. And then having all this stuff with Skid Row at the same time. I mean, uh, I mean, how do you how are you feeling sort of going through that whole process with everything that's going on? Uh, I, I think Skid Row was a way for me to really get back. Uh, I, I, I was telling myself when I was at the hospital, because uh, I was kind of like heading to a, to a, towards another lifestyle in many ways. Um, I left my, my former band Heat and I wanted to do other, other, other things in life. Um, but I, uh, I realized when I was at the hospital that the, the, the moments I valued the most was being on stage, being on tour, uh, being in the studio, being creative. So I told myself that if I make, make it out of here alive, I will sing for the rest of my life. Uh, so uh, Skid Row was a way for me to, to get back uh, on on stage definitely uh, but also mentally and physically because i my goal was to be back june this year mm. when this year started uh, so i had four months to recover because i had another show booked but the guys skid row gave me one month so i you know i just started rehearsing i i had a the goal was to be able to perform in vegas end of march this was end of february and i just i went to my vocal coach you know, I did all these things that I had to do in order to get back in shape. Um, and yeah, I, I, I feel great now, but I was definitely, uh, I think scared is the right word sure. in the beginning, like being on stage for the first time uh, in two years, 
uh, including, you know, having the, 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 having gone through the treatments and I was just trying to figure out how my body would react and, and also the, the mental aspect of everything, just processing the whole, well, this whole story, you know, mm-hmm. coming from leukemia to Skid Row, it's so much to take in and to process. I'm, I'm still doing it, to be yeah. honest. It's amazing. And obviously this album, uh, you know, you look back on this, you know, in 20 years time or whatever, this album is going to have, a, I guess, a whole different sort of meaning or a huge meaning to you, I guess, because it sort of came at a particular time that uh, I guess uh, you really kind of needed to, I suppose. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, that was kind of, you know, it, it was a big risk for, for the guys to ask me if I wanted to become the singer without ever meeting me mm. or being in the same room as me. Yeah. But, you know, uh, I, I told Rachel and he's told me that, well, you took four risks with us, Rachel, Scotty, Snake, and Rob. <laughs> uh, I guess there's some truth to that. But when, when I joined the band, you know, first of all, this is an opportunity that you can't say no to. Mm. Um, so, and, and I told myself that, well, if this doesn't work, if they don't like me and I don't like them, well, at least I was the singer of Skid Row for a week or two. Sure. You know, and, yeah. and that's, that's, that's something I will always have with me. I was actually the singer and, you know, so that, that was the mindset I had going into this. But luckily we, we, we have a really good time together and we really connected. So it's all good. Awesome. Uh, and the other big news, of course, uh, for Aussie fans is that you, uh, you guys are coming down in December. Uh, so that's obviously another a great thing to have. You know, uh, we finally get to see Skid Row again. Uh, good to see bands coming back in the country as, as well after the last two years. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's been crazy. And it's, it's, it's so good to be able to be out and, and tour again and to meet people. And you see all these promoters, you know, getting back in business and and but it's going to take some time to to for the industry to recover yeah um you know but but it's you know and it's just so feels so amazing to be back on stage playing in front of people just wanting to have a good time yeah definitely it's been it's uh, been way too, it's been way too political out there you know when you when you come <laughs> to show we're all there for the music and it's just everybody is just you forget about all the differences and difference of different of opinions and you just focus on the music and it's great that's exactly right i mean uh, that's the one thing no matter what happens in the world you know music is the one thing that kind of uh, i personally think universally uh, sort of unites everyone together i think yeah i totally agree um now obviously uh, australian tour uh, no you've you've uh, you've been to australia before with with heat right yeah, well, actually, it was just me and Jonah, the, the keyboard player of the band, because uh, okay. I was doing an acoustic show as Eric Gromwall. So, uh, but I know Heat is, is, is coming in September, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so I was in Melbourne for three or four days, and then I flew back. So I haven't really uh, been there and enjoyed myself, so to say. Uh, it's just, it was just in and out, basically yeah so uh do you have any sort of spare time at all in the schedule for the australian tour like do you anything do you you want to do at all or i mean i i'm not really sure i i I need to (laughs) here's the thing they when i joined the band it told me record these songs and here's the touring schedule for this year and i was like whoa and uh (laughs) you know so i haven't really had the time to to see how many days off or when we fly in or, you know, yeah. so I, I will, I guess I will have to look into that and, and see if there's any time to do anything else. Uh, but, uh, you know, going to a pub is always nice. Having <laughs> yeah. a few beers. Yeah, exactly. And it's just coming into yeah. our summertime as well. So it'd be a nice uh, time to come in. Yeah. Perfect. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, looking forward to seeing you. And uh, as I said, man, congratulations on this new album. Uh, absolutely loved it. I just heard it the one time this early today. And um, yeah, just uh, it just really takes me back to some of the earlier stuff that Skid Row did. So uh, I love it. So, uh, you know, well done on the, the new album. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. Coming from a Skid Row fan. That's cool. <laughs> uh, well, thanks for your time, man. I really appreciate it. And uh, I guess we'll see you in December. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, yeah, have a great day.